Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Guns, Knives, and Beer. And we are in Sacramento, California. They're tearing down the Sacramento Convention Center. And it is, wow, is it dusty. I mean, they can throw all the water they want on this, and it is dusty. We are on the way to check out two new breweries. Well, I think they're not necessarily new. Well, they are new. They're newer. But I have yet to be there, and they didn't come up on my radar the last time. Well, my radar being Google Maps. <laughs> and they are on Google Maps now, so uh, yeah, we're gonna go check them out. Uh, one of them's got some good food, so we'll, we'll do that one second. But uh, yeah, there it is, or there it was. We'll see you in a bit. Okay, so we're almost here. It's actually right there. Let's go. This must be the the Ritzy section. They got a West Elm. <laughs> Look at old train tracks here. That's pretty cool. It's like a station type deal. I don't think that building is old though. But there is the brewery up ahead. So uh, yeah, it is called the Device Brewery. And we'll sample a couple I can't go too long or I'll never make it to the next one. But uh, yeah, let's go sample some beer. Take you along. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are here at the Device Brewing Company. Here's a look of the, the taps and the beers. It's a little place. Uh, this is one of a couple of locations they have. This one is new. And we have this. I'm looking forward to this. Why? Because it's California and that means West Coast IPAs. And that's what this one is. This is an integral, integral West Coast IPA clocking in at 7.0% alcohol by volume. Let's give it a sniff here. Oh yeah, <laughs> beautiful. Nice West Coast smell going on right there. Let's give it a taste. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Crisp, clean, good old hoppy and pine aroma and taste, and ah, yeah, I like that. It's a good West Coast IPA. There you go, the Integral IPA from the Device Brewing Company here in Sacramento, California. We'll be back, we got more. Don't go away, this is an all beer episode. Okay, so I had to do another one. Just one more. There are two West Coast IPAs up there. Made in Sac, which is short, short for Sacramento. Now, I wouldn't call Denver Den, and I wouldn't call Golden Gold. So I don't get the Sac, but okay, whatever. And Backyard Camping, hmm, which is also a West Coast IPA. Decisions, decisions. This is a tough one, but, uh, We took the backyard camping. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's pretty much a no-brainer, right? Camping or sack. Yeah, if you had to pick one of those words, camping or sack, think about it. Think about it real hard. Camping, sack. Okay, <laughs> here we go. These are West Coast IPAs. Well, this is a West Coast IPA. Let's give it a sniff. Okay, now the reason I took this one is because it's supposed to be more piney. Both of them said they had malty flavors in them, which I don't think should be part of an IPA, but let's give this a taste. Huh, hmm. Not tasting too much pine there. A little citrus. It's actually not bad. It's actually very refreshing in a weird way. It's not a bad beer. I'll take it. Backyard Camping West Coast IPA from this device brewing company in Sacramento, California. Okay, device brewery done. Not bad, I have to say. Um, 
a lot of IPAs on tap, which is a good thing. Um, the Integral, which was the first one that I had, they don't call it a West Coast IPA, yet the West Coast IPAs that I had after that uh, were not as good as the Integral. The Integral really is a West Coast IPA, and the bartender confirmed it. So, uh, yeah. Don't put malt in your IPAs. That's all. Okay, we're on to the next place. I don't know how far I gotta walk, but, uh, eh. Walk off a couple of brews, get a couple more. Here we go. All right, so we got the highway over there. V Street, I am hot, very hot. All right, so according to my map, there is supposed to be a brewery on this street. It sure don't look like a place where there would be a brewery. But, yeah, looks like a nice piece of town. <laughs> nice part of town. Ugh. So, I'm willing to give it a little bit of a shot here, and we'll see. I just don't know how there would be a brewery here. It's like the middle of a residential neighborhood. Okay. Well, call me a monkey's uncle. What the? Who knew? Look at that right there. See it with the fences and the misters going? There's the brewery. In the middle of a residential neighborhood in California. Wow. Pretty impressive. Okay. Now, this is where I'm going to get some food because they have barbecue. All right, we'll see you in a bit here. There it is, Urban Roots. Mm, nice out. Oh man, I smell smoke like barbecue smoke. It's unreal. And I'm hungry. Cool. Okay, this is very reminiscent of the Arizona Wilderness Brewery in Phoenix. Same setup. You order your food, you take your food, you pay for your food, and you. Well, actually, this has got places you can sit at the bar. Ooh, look at that. Barrel aged. Nice. All right, we gotta, we gotta get going here. All right, so this is pretty cool. I mean, you order your food, but you gotta pick up your food. They give you this thing, and but they start a tab at the cash register, which is way down there. All right, let's get a beer. All right, Urban Roots Brewing. <laughs> Check that out. Lots of stuff on that menu. Lots of taps, all their own stuff. Well, with the exception of that. Consecration from Russian River. Boy, it looks like that cherry one I had, even though this one has currants, but uh, this one says sour. I will avoid that like the plague. We have got this. That's like riding a bike. No, seriously. It's called like riding a bike. 6.2% <laughs> alcohol by volume. Looks like a good West Coast. Let's taste it. Let's smell it. Smells, well, doesn't smell West Coasty, but well, let's taste it. All right. It's, hmm. It's missing something. It's missing something, but we got plenty of IPAs to try here, so I'm not concerned about it. When I see a rye IPA up there, oh, that's coming. Anyway, I got some food coming as well. Barbecue, baby. We'll see you in a bit. All right, and wow, that was fast. We got some brisket and spicy barbecue sauce, rib tips, spicy barbecue sauce, house made barbecue sauce, coleslaw, string beans. Oh boy, I'm gonna get to work. Dang these places and their weird shaped glasses. 
this cannot be a 16 ounce glass. There's just no way. But my koozie, guess what? It fit it. Well, it's an adjustable koozie. This is the new black wax canvas. I kind of like it. Kind of like it. Anyway, stop making weird pint glasses. Okay, so what do we have going on next? And probably the last. I mean, I'm just about there. So, this one. And I like the way they uh, tell you what's in there, but there you go. This one is called Internet Friends. Internet Friends. And guess what? All you folks watching this, you're all my internet friends. So, hey, there's some meaning to this beer, right? <laughs> this is an IPA. They just call it an IPA. I'm going to guess it's a West Coast, but only because they tell you what's forward. What flavor is forward? And this one, they say pine. Okay. So, I'm going to go on their word. And I'm hoping that it's pine forward. This is clocking in at... Oh, I can't even read that. That looks like 7% alcohol by volume. And I could be wrong, but that's what the sign says. And, uh, yeah, let's give this a sniff. Um, well, not smelling any pine. Not smelling a lot of hops, but you know, looks and smells are deceiving. Let's taste this. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. There is definitely some pine forward. It's like a citra, citra hop. Yeah, oh, okay, wait a second. And, and, uh, it's a citrus hop, and uh, it's it's very light and aroma. No, no, I don't do a review like that. It's a West Coast. There's some pine flavor there. Not a whole bunch, but actually, it's not too bad. Internet friends from the Urban Roots Brewery in Sacramento. California. We'll see you next time. Oh, don't forget to like, subscribe, tell all your friends, tell all your relatives. Come on down. Oh, wait. Come on down. No, I'm not going to do that. We'll see you next time on Guns, Knives, and Beer. Later. There are some great things in this park. Every tree has a tag on it. I'll tell you what kind it is. It's a camphor tree. That's a great monument, by the way. It's too bad this state doesn't put any, uh, benefits behind those people. Oh, uh-oh. Crazy squirrel. There he is. He's ready to attack. Uh-huh. Yeah, tame. You want to know why? That's nice. 2002, that would be during Arnie's tenure because I don't think the uh, current thing in office would uh, give a crap about firefighters. It's a shame. What's his name? Newsom? Newsom. Yeah. People in California need to get a uh, 
glimpse on reality. Look at all those names. These are all heroes. It's too bad your governor doesn't give a crap. Hey, there's more here. Look at that. These are people who don't... They don't care if you are black, white, yellow, gray. They don't care. These people will rescue you regardless. If you're a citizen or not a citizen. <sighs> okay. I'm done. See ya. That's the Capitol building of California. Uh, fourth largest or fifth economy in the world. One state. I try not to get political on my uh, channel. <laughs> Sometimes it's a little hard, but I try. nice tree uh, no tag oh yeah there we go that's a good looking tree old the roots on that one <laughs> yeah uh-huh wonder if that's related to the Russian olive all right I was gonna show you a lot more but my phone melted down apparently it's too hot okay we'll see you